This is a SanDisk UltraFit USB thumb drive. Um, and I've been using these for backup purposes. And I've been very happy with the UltraFit um, electronically and reads and writes very quickly. It works very well for backup purposes. Now, one thing I haven't been as happy with is the casing. Um, this guy is designed to fit you know, into your laptop and have just a very small amount hanging out the edge here. Um, but this little case is actually plastic, and if you use it a lot, it'll crack. This is actually my second one. Um, so it works great, except if you have it on a keychain and you're plugging it in taking it out all the time, it doesn't hold up so it'll crack around the plastic if you're using it a lot. So I got a SanDisk Ultra Lux drive, and this is a metal casing. It holds up very well on keychains. I've had one of these for a year, had it on my keychain, no problems physically. The problem I ran into is that it had horrible write speeds. Um, and, you know, it would start off fast, but then almost immediately slow down. Um, and it wasn't like slowing down to 10 megabytes a second. It was slowing down to like 2 or 3 megabytes per second. Um, and the drive itself would get very hot. And so I wasn't sure if that was a problem with the drive or not. So eventually I actually sent it back to SanDisk and said, you know, replace this thing. Um, it's not working as well as I would expect it to. Um, so they have sent me a brand new replacement and we are going to see if the problem is with this particular drive itself or with just the particular model I had before. All right, so straight out of the box, this guy comes with a FAT file system. Um, has about 12 megabytes used for a couple of SanDisk software, um, and you know, 494 gigabytes free. So it identifies as a SanDisk Ultra Luxy 1.00. Specifically, it has a FAT 32-bit version file system. W95 FAT32 LBA. All right, we're going to benchmark this guy as it's formatted out of the box using 100 samples with a 100 megabyte sample size and I'm doing the write benchmark as well as the read benchmark. So it's starting off pretty strong. Um, the average read rate and the average write rate are both about exactly the same, you know, 62, 63 megabytes a second. Now for one sample, the write speed kind of cratered down and then it went back up and now it's going back down again. Um, the read speed seems to be chugging along about the same but we're starting to get some variability in the write speed. To my finger, the drive is definitely starting to feel hot. Alright, I don't like the variability in write speed, but the overall average isn't horrible. Um, yeah, average here is 38 megabytes a second for writing, um, 55 for reading. All right, I've reformatted this guy as a Lux encrypted file system with EXT4 uh, Linux file system on it. All right, so after setting up the encrypted file system, I took the drive out of my computer until it's fully cooled down, plug it back in, mounted it, and we're going to do the same benchmark on it with the Linux encrypted file system. All right, the first couple of samples are in. Um, my read rate's actually a little higher, 145 megabytes a second. The write rate is 62.7. I don't have an explanation for why the read rate was so much higher there, um, but I'll take it. Now, going a little ways away, the write rate has dropped down. We have some variability there. Looks like it's kind of hitting that 30 megabytes a second, 38 megabytes a second we were seeing before. All right, my benchmark got done a little faster, mostly I think because the read rate was much higher. I don't know what about the file system makes the read rate better, but you know we're getting 144 megabytes a second, um, which compares very favorably to their speeds up to 150 megabytes a second for read rate. Now the writing rate, you know, it starts off kind of you know 60 to 75, but just like before, it drops down and gets very variable. The average here, 37.6, is just slightly below. I had like a 38 point something um, with the FAT32 file system, so the file system might have slowed that down just slightly and it's an encrypted file system so that seems reasonable um, but still 37.6 megabytes a second um, you know I should be able to transfer my entire hard drive over to this guy in less than four hours now the temperature of the drive after the benchmark is still hot to the touch 
Um, that is much hotter than the UltraFit drive has ever been. All right, it's August 9th, 11, 10 a.m. I am syncing 264.9, so just say 265 gigabytes worth of data. Right, we're almost halfway done, transferred 123 gigabytes, and the uh, thumb drive external casing here is, you know, 127 Fahrenheit. All right, it finished at 2.22 p.m. Um, it basically took 3.19 hours or 191.4 minutes to transfer that 265 gigabytes. All right, according to my calculations here, it was a write rate, a sustained average of 23.6 megabytes per second, which is not the best write rate I've ever seen, but sustained for 260 some gigabytes, it's pretty acceptable. Most importantly, the first time I did this transfer with the failed version of this drive, or the one that didn't work well, it took well overnight. It was at least like 16 to 20 some hours. Um, so this guy had a much more reasonable time for finishing that up. All right, so reading, copying back from the USB drive, I copied a 2.7 gigabyte file. It took 30 seconds, and so basically the read speed for me was 92.1 megabytes a second, which is pretty reasonable for a USB drive, I think. All right, I don't know what was wrong with the first one I bought, but this guy has performed about as well as I would expect. And I am a real fan of this metallic or the metal case, you know, for a keyring uh, USB drive. I've worn one of these on a key ring for almost a year and it held up great. Um, so if you have one of these and it's getting extremely slow write speeds, send it back because something's wrong with it. And I wish I'd done that earlier. So as a key ring thumb drive, it works pretty well. I'd like that hole to be just slightly bigger, but if you position it correctly, it'll lay flat against a key.